mental power to have or what? Mm-hmm. That's that's like your superpower, dude. <laughs> yeah, but did you know we're live? No, I didn't. I'm Welcome live right now. to the dark table, Grammy. What's up? Well, I thank you, Flasher, and yeah. and thank you for your superpower of me not having to go pee until you said you probably ought to go to the bathroom before we get on the radio. I was just exhibiting my power of stuff. Anyway. Yeah, well, it's your superpower. Well, welcome to the dark table for superpower uh, Saturday. Hey, I just realized you're a flash in the bedpan. Uh, <laughs> and thanks a lot, Grimnir, for the place to play. On the RLM, reallibertymedia.com. And yeah. we're, yeah. And guess what day this is? This is the 2 9 of February 2020. We I know, it's Sadie Hawkins Day. Have we ever done a show on Leap Year's Day before? I don't think so. Uh, hmm. Anyway, you want to say hi to the bots and the bodies? Or do you want to just say hi to the bodies and leave the bots out of this shit? Why do you even say hi to them? They don't know what we're saying. They can't hear us. They can't? You got. I think you got to type at a bot to get their attention. Um, okay. Well, it's like there's a lot of bots in the body. Thing. You even have to bot. type at the body. So I scream you're a dumb motherfucker at the, ten, at the screen all the time and nothing ever happens. Oh, well, you know. Mm. But when you type that you out. Put a name at the end of it, just telling you from experience. <laughs> ah, okay. Be specific well, with your insult. <laughs> be specific, that's the notion. <laughs> okay. Bots and body time. Bots and bodies. We got Barman right up top, the most splendiferous bot Ooh. in the whole wide world. Closely followed by Beetle. Beetle. With Pippi probably in his lap. Uh-oh. We also got Grimner, the RLM Ooh, god, don't Grimner. you know? And the lovely Moose Girl, who Moose is just girl. under the weather, sending you healing energy, Moosey. And the lovely Miss Kate. I like that patio you showed picture of earlier today, Miss Kate. Thank you for sharing. The flat um, stones, man. Not, ah. not the Rolling Stones, man. The Flat Stones. Flat Stones. That's right. Yes. Not the yes. Flintstones. The flat and it looked like it was puppy approved. <laughs> I also see Anti is in the chat, as well as Chalsa Denis, <laughs> the lovely Cycle. Hello, honey. And Flasher's here. Hello, me. Frumpy is also here, as well as yours, Frumpy. truly. Miss Mary. Java, 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 Dr. T Java, is Java, here with a double Java. dose of Java, and I happen to have a cup of Java. Ooh, a cup of Java. I know. Uh, we all, Java. yeah, we got a Meister Brown here as well. Uh, I know, the Woodman, uh, the Mighty Woodman. Mm. Prince is also here Prince. as well as Rob Wikes. And bubbler. I fired up the bubbler. He's the bubbler. Thank you, Rob, for firing the bubbler. We also got a Rome's in the chat, as hey, well as the lovely hey, Miss Vanna White. Hey, 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 I know, hey, she's the better turner bot. It's the and phantom. Oh, hide me. It's the phantom. Hide me. It's the phantom. I also see Barge Dave. <laughs> Barge Dave. Hi, <laughs> BD. Ooh. We got a Chaskura <laughs> going on in the Chaskura. chat, as well as I find Bargain Noodle. That's still my favorite. I hate to tell you. I know. That. I love that Cyborg, cyborg noodle. noodle. I always think of you when I read it, too, because of your, you know, Cyborg Noodle. Because I do my Cyborgian Noodly kind of thing. Maybe yeah. Maybe that's noodly goodness. Yeah. But I don't want we to get mention my The people. Dork Cakes is here. The hey, dork Mental, cakes. yo bastard. How are you? I also see Duh is in the chat, as well Duh. as E-Man yeah. and and Siv. Frumpy Woik is also Frumpy here. Got a little bit of multiplicity going on there, as well as Duh. Gromit Duh. and guest 79654. I think that was Asmodeus Asmo, mm. but I'm not positive. I, I also see JJ's, no, 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 JJ's, as well as Kiss my Kiss up, my bitch. Pucker up the yeah. No. Yeah, there you go. Got some Papa Weird Papa Bomb sauce also here, as well as yeah, Mataz and the holiest Roger ever, ever. 
Uh, I got you. So holy. Roger, right and here. Pop you up. You round out the crew. What? Z-Pix. Z-Pix! So, there you go. 35 in all is mm-hmm. what it looks like it says up on the little tally thing. Yeah. So, um, did you know I thought of a what? name for the show today? What did you name the show today? Uh, I remember, but I'll well, let you tell it. Uh, well, you can do it. No, you tell it. It's what, your title. What is a shamdemic? Shamdemic. Mm-hmm. But wait, there's more. Oh, very so that's much. What it is. Well, yeah, but see, they they got us split into groups already over this coronavirus. And I know half the world thinks that you need to hide underground in a you know self-contained bunker for two years, and the other half doesn't give a fuck. Guess which half I'm hanging with, Miss Mary? I think in you're in the um, don't give a fuck tank. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. I figure it like this: uh, if this is the end, it's been swell and it's been uh, real, but it has not been real swell. <laughs> well, that's because you know the swelling has gone down, and so. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. I've been through the end of the world like I don't know how many as many times as you, you know, over life, and I'm still here. So you know what? If it's real, and if it ain't real, too, I don't care. Well. I'm just to the point now where it's like, we're all going to die, basically means we're all going to die. <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, if it's an inevitable kind of thing, yeah. I'm not going to worry about it because it's freaking inevitable. So mm. I'm not going to get my knickers in a knot over it. But I named the show what is a shamdemic in, in the honor of the coronavirus and its other appendages it's had over the years. We've been through this before with, you know, pandemics and you need an inoculation yeah. or you're going to die and then you get the inoculation Yay. and then you die or you get crippled because, well. And it's the Zika virus or it's the this virus or it's the that virus and shit. Scientists say. What's your favorite virus? My favorite virus hmm? Um, I like it when things go viral on the internet because then I look at it and I go, how the hell did that go viral? What the fuck? I'll share it too. <laughs> Damn. Wow. That's my favorite See, virus. My power, my powers, my superpowers, the Jewish power of suggestion. And how that works is Jews have the ability to make you think it's your fucking idea. You're telling us. <laughs> See? There you go. See? The and, best way to get people to do something is to make them think it's their idea. And the way that they accomplish this is through the language we use called English. Because it is the spell casting language of the world. Yes, they did Latin and all this other fun stuff, but English does, because it has so many words that either sound the same but mean different things or are spelled the same but you pronounce them differently depending on their usage, it's, it can be so ambiguous that it's wonderful for casting spells. And many people do not realize they're having the mojo whoopee whoopee done to them. That's that's my phraseology. Yeah, well, <laughs> right. But when you when you purposely created societies filled with ill people that have no immune system, and then on top of that, because most of these people that are terrified are already sick with something else. See? And that's when they pound on your weakness bone, you know, with a the force of a boot on your throat. Yeah. It's nothing personal. It's just the way the game is played. You know, pretending this game isn't being played doesn't make the game stop. <laughs> it's a, I know. It's a beautiful it's game. <laughs> you, you know who, who thinks he's going to buy the White House this time? Bloomberg? Blooming idiot. Yeah, from New York. That pretty. Well, yeah, he is a blooming idiot. That's what I said about Trump. Where's Trump? Come on, come on. You think this is an election, people? Get real. (laughs) I'm already (sighs) reading shit about Trump could not win the next election. Well, he didn't win the last election. What are you talking about? (laughs) Win an election? (laughs) 
no, 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 no. See, Trump just takes it up the ass, and Hill says, I don't think so, man. It ain't going to happen. She'll shoot you. Well, she'll have one of her guys shoot you. Trump, he's a little on the dainty side. He has his See, kids do all the dirty work. I think the hmm. most deadly virus in the world yeah. is Arkansas. Ooh, ouch. Hmm. That one's that one's got one hell of a track record. Yeah, but it's yeah. Well, hmm. I guess when yeah. you can actually say somebody's killed more people than cannabis in, in all of recorded history. Ooh. Yeah. I snuck that in there because I'm pro cannabis. Hey, did you I, know? Did you know what I put up a link today on RLM and it fooled everybody. Got grim. Because it's talking about the, all the side effects of a vitamin K shot, but it uses hemp in a picture, big, beautiful picture of green, and it's all oh, these damn horrible things happened. And then way at the bottom in this real light print, it says, "Nah, that we're just kidding. This was a vitamin K shot put into a newborn child." Ah, uh, yeah. Well, because yeah. if people knew, I don't think they know. I, I, I really don't. I think if they do know. And they try to talk about it with the medical staff. The medical staff will tell them, you want to go to jail and lose the kid now, or do you want to give it a shot? <laughs> That's what I really think. Yeah. Cause well, let, let me tell you something else, too, Mary. All this trial, child trafficking, human trafficking shit. Have you ever in your life not been missed when you're not around? You know, with your inner circle of whoever you associate with, everybody except probably, well, probably even Hansel, has what we call in the, you know, the dork table, an inner circle of friends and acquaintances who we engage with. Right? Well, yeah. Well, and right. I do, I do remember back in my younger days, like pre-20 years old where yeah there was there were some times there where I just kind of sort of dropped off the face of the map and um how old were you nobody though? really seemed to at what oh, age like yeah. 19 yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. see how common it was made that's what I mean in my day we had phones and we had paper mail there was mm -hmm. the only two ways you could communicate so People, there was no guarantee you were going to get a response on the digital phone in the other guy's hand. No. So over the years, things have, I don't know, they've been changed. So we see them differently than we once did. And that's why they're taking this coronavirus so, so hard and so serious because they got the internet to use. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. They couldn't pull this off with the Pony Express. No, they couldn't have. In the U.S. mail? And, you know, that's like everybody's going, oh, there's, <coughs> excuse me, so much more pedophilia these days oh, and so please. much more this and yeah. so much more that. Yeah. How do we know for sure? Because I know, don't know. back then, number one, how do you trust the um, history that we've t we've been taught? Because they, whoever they are, have been caught in so many lies already anyway. That how do you trust the history that we've been taught? Hmm. And when you stop and, and look at the history that we've been taught and the uh, ways of communicating and all this other fun shit, how do you know that this wasn't going on way back then? It's hmm. just that we have a higher saturation rate, if you will, on people finding out what's going on. Because, well, like you said, uh, Pony Express. And but it seems to me that it's highly exaggerated because your family is always bugging where the fuck are you. You know, even today, even with all this electronic shit we got, your inner circle and your family keep track of you. That's just the way life really works. Yet, yeah. day after fucking day, I'm reading all these hundreds and hundreds of links and blah, 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 about all these missing people. Well, what? I wonder, you know, I think that we're just, we're told stories that, that are isolated and then they multiply them 
with imagination and scare everybody all at once. Yep. See, and I don't think anybody goes missing without it being on purpose, whether they did it purposefully or someone else caused them Mm -hmm. to go missing. I agree. I don't think anybody ever disappears or goes missing Mm -hmm. without it being on purpose. Yeah, pretty much. And it's not as easy to pull off as one may think if you are involved in the game or the state. So, you know, with all this, you got to have a, a, a driver's license. you got to have a license to fish. you got to have a license to have a license. But yet, all these people just vanish. Where? How do you, how do you justify that? Well, you, you don't. When they move and they don't do your paperwork the way they're supposed to, they're missing. <laughs> Yeah, and then you they got, left no forwarding a- mailing address. Right, and then you get yeah, some, probably because they didn't want you getting a hold of them. And then you get some law enforcement guy that wants a budget for this particular crime, so they build the crime around it. Yeah, and that's why I say laws create criminals. Well, I've been living where I've been living for years, and I see the same fucking people every goddamn day. What? Well, not okay. That, that might be an exaggeration. But I in a week's time I will not see a whole lot of people that I haven't seen before. I just don't know it. <laughs> you know, cuz I I'm there it's that small of a place. Yeah. Hmm. There's not like this time of year you're not going to get tourists coming to What are they going to come here to see? The rain. <laughs> <laughs> I to go sit in Freddy Town in the park and watch the ducks hide from the rainwater. <laughs> so, nah. So anyway, what I guess what I'm saying is, is all this, uh, all these things have been manufactured, blown out of proportion for us, so that this would be possible. You know, the 9/11s and the the Kennedy assassination. All these little steps they've taken. To come to where they are now. Now they can scare a whole fucking population with just a few stories. Yeah, with just a few clicks of the computer keyboard. Well, we have a virus. Everybody is afraid. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a virus that, well, it resembles the common cold. And there's no way to tell for about three to four weeks whether it was just a cold or not. What? And you may not even show any <laughs> symptoms whatsoever and uh-huh. yet still have this virus. Yeah. Or yeah. you may not have any symptoms whatsoever and still fall over dead. Mm. Isn't that wonderful? Because of poor oxygen uh, saturation in your body. So, okay. yeah. Mm. Well, right. But see, we're, so, we're all plugged into this freaking Internet stuff, right? And we're going to yep. side with the – well, people don't want to stand out of their inner circle and look like an inner dork. So they're going to side with the side that's popular with their side. Only, I don't really want to side. I don't really give a shit. It's been nice knowing you guys. Have fun. You know? See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. You know, I heard something the other day that when we reincarnate, we incarnate in groups, like in family. Wow. Like, like Sybil? Well, you know, like, um, <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily <laughs> Sybil. But, um, well, you know what Sybil was about, right? Oh, yeah. It was a book, too. It was a book. That was a And yeah. a movie. And a movie. That book was, yeah. Damn right. Yeah. That's right, well, baby. I watched the movie, and I tried to read the book, but the I'd already seen the movie, and it just kind of... Uh, the movie yeah. just tilted the book terribly. That was, that was a really... Some of it was just over the top. You know, reading about it's one thing, but visually seeing, you know, the film, ah, that was just wrong. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, it was kind of messed up. But I'm not one to tell other people what kind of art to make. I'm just judging the art they made. Well, It's my I opinion. Am. That's what judgment is. I liked it, but I thought it was over the top. Well, what does that mean? Yeah. I wouldn't want I wouldn't want to sit with my daughter and watch that. Oh man, yeah. I don't know that I could do that with either of my kids. Right. That that move really messed with my head. But I'm just making just a point. Just because man. I know people that are that freaking wacko. Really? Yes. Wow, that must be so cool. 
to be that fucking whack. I get accused of it, but you know what? No. I'm not doorknob talking to type. You know, ah. I talk to myself, talk to my animals. But inanimate objects, well, maybe the TV screen when somebody types something ignorant. Well, but outside of that, well, okay. I talk to the computer screen <laughs> quite often. And it's like, really? Seriously? <laughs> no. But hey, they do that to us. That's true. Mm-hmm. That is true. Can you imagine where people get the impression, and this is how I see it, whoa, mm-hmm. that they're getting this idea that we're uh, we're trying to yank them off the nipple of Mother State by force. When we're trying to do is show them that Mother State is tainted. And you don't want to be attached to that nipple anyway, because here's a hint. That's not a nipple. <laughs> Ooh, okay. You can picture whatever you wish, but I'm just putting it out there. That's not a nipple. Looks oh, like wow. a nipple. Oh, my God. That's a big <laughs> nipple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'll just pass on that. Thank you very little. You're welcome. So... <sighs> Other than that, the shamdemic. It's a sham wow of a shamdemic. Okay. That's pretty much the way to sum this up, too. I mean, and they're, well, Grim was talking about them marking up the uh, masks available uh, up like 400% to re- you know, retail. Because that's yeah. the middleman doing that, not the manufacturer. But who's going to take the, the shit for the pricing? The government and all these, all these people that really have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Because yeah. we're, we're taught all this stupid shit about government that it, it applies that levels of finance we'll never even know exist. We just read about them on the Internet. You know, like Federal Reserve and all the stock market and all that kind of crap. The, the big players. Oh. Yeah, the big people. Those shamdemics. It works. I mean, I damn, that, that the Dow took a shit the other day. And I'm reading on the net. On the RLM chat the next day after it took a shit. Well, in a year it'll be fine. <laughs> well, yeah, but wow, see, this is, we're all living in the future and hardly anybody's got time for what's going on right now. And see, when I, when I saw all that fun stuff, first thing I thought was, yeah, mm-hmm, that was, that was one of the little triggers that they wanted to, you know, set off. <laughs> was, ooh, look, look what's happening now. The stock market is crashing. <laughs> you do realize what another thing for what a stock market is, don't you? It's like yeah. your cattle, yeah. your herd that yep. you took to market. Yep. Yes, ma'am, I yeah. do. <laughs> I, so I just, this uh, ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> yeah, it is. I've never been into a rodeo in my life. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. Oh, that's okay. me. I had I'm, to I'm also mouse. sharing our the the dork table on Twitter. Ooh, real quick. Twitter. Yeah, you guys all know me. I'm so impressed with all that big stuff. Uh, you know where Donald Trump hangs out. I think that's probably the my best argument for not bothering with Twitter. Trump hangs out there. And you know how I feel about, you know, making fun of inferior minds. Oh, well, yeah. Well, do you know I how mean, I yeah, judge Yeah, you get one? into an argument with an idiot and you just create <laughs> two idiots. So, yeah. you know, there but you go. You know how I judge that? No? 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 What's my criteria? Well, I think of people like this. If you're a greedy fucking slob that doesn't know what enough is enough means, I don't like you. There you go. It's a state of mind. It's not necessarily anything more. And things that you can say to other people, like, I'm the greatest at, there's nobody better than me at, fuck you. There's always somebody better. Any given Sunday. Well, the people that worked for Disney worked for Disney. I didn't work for Disney, but I could draw Disney. That was the problem. It was, ah. the, it was the requirements of 
working for Disney that I would never, I wouldn't do that for the love of money. See how you are. Well, I have you standards. Yeah. Mimi Poo Poo Head, you wouldn't work for Disney? Nah. But yeah. who's going to draw all of those Mickey Mouses and Donald the da 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 Well, that's what I mean is there's always somebody better than me anyway. But I was qualified to do that, but my personality wouldn't go with the uh, restrictions of working for a company like that. You know, I was a lot looser, even even before I was 30, to some degree. About 28, I lost the, I lost the uh, meat thing, went rogue. Well, oh, yeah, maybe earlier, maybe 26, 27. Hmm. Hmm. Can't remember now. It's been so many years. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's... I know. Jeez, I, there's times when I don't remember what I said five minutes ago. <laughs> Especially when the farmer comes up and says, what did you say? Mm-hmm. When? <laughs> And see, I laugh at it, even though I think there is something very fishy in Denmark, not necessarily where you're at, but where I'm at. My little version of Denmark, and it's like, something ain't right here if I can't remember what I said five minutes ago. Well, I guess you can go fishing out here, too. I don't know. I wouldn't do it. It's too damn cold. Ah. But the dog loves it. It's pretty nice here today. Oh, yeah, today. Well, that'll change. Don't get your... Well, you know, tomorrow's supposed to be nice, too, because uh-huh. they predicted it, yeah. just like climate change. Oh, uh, predicted it, huh? Well, I, no, I still think this is all part of the big sham. I think we're being screwed, Mary. All, I think all of us, collectively. Yeah, and you know, the really sad thing is mm. we're not getting a kiss, either. So you know. No, we're getting a kiss, all right, but that ain't changing <laughs> the ass women we're taking. See? They they even they, these people are smooth. They even say, "Please, will you sign on the dotted line so we can put you on the table and have our way with you, please?" Sure. Yeah. What do I sign? What am I getting for my signature? Oh, Press you're hard, getting you're plenty for three. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you'll get more than you'll ever imagine. I feel special. Welcome to the club. And that's that. That's that coveted holy club of wealth bullshit that people all think they're striving to be a part of. Ugh. Is it like the Mickey Mouse Club kind of thing? No, it's more like the uh, New York Stock Exchange Club. Oh. You know, because okay. for show, a man could seriously go in there with a thousand dollars, say, I mean, it's some kind of account, and do pretty good for the day, or do pretty bad for the day, whatever. So the day is real. But the overall, you know, when you look at the things that go into what makes this thing, it's, it's all bullshit. So it's like being, it's like being high. I would say uh, doing the financial trading today on any level of commerce in any format is the equivalent of a heroin addict and his needle. That's what I say. You, know, I've heard it ah. on the dark table. What do you think? You heard it here first. I'm, I'm, I don't like needles. Well, I mean, people are as addicted to money as anybody I've ever seen on dope. They were addicted to their dope. But I'm telling you, banking, that's legal. So you can be addicted to that right in front of everybody. And people praise you for your addiction. They don't point out the, the shit part of it. Well, it's the biggest con ever known to man, and, and the reason why it is is because nobody really believes it's a con, or I mm. can't say nobody, but very few, yeah, very few actually realize it's a con. Well, the lies that they tell us out in the public eye kind of help them sell the story, don't they? The news, movies, and TV, and all these little things that we think are entertaining us just Put you into this acceptance thing. Oh, do whatever you want. Just don't shoot me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet people are pretty damn uh, obedient to law enforcement where it's overcrowded right about now. And now they got this new threat with this coronavirus thing. So, wow. You could be taken away 
for no fucking reason other than somebody thinks you're ill. What? Talk about your red flag laws. I think that prick over there has lungs and he's breathing. Take him away. What? What? Well, Cirque's nephew went to Japan for a month. and This is the end of the month. So we, I'm really excited to see what comes of that crap because he's in Japan. <laughs> yeah. Coming back to Denmark, you know, I'm thinking, wow. And I thought I had a fucking story to tell. This kid is going to make me look boring when he gets back. It's sad. Sad, sad world. Yeah, I have a niece that, well, I actually have a nephew and his wife that, are stationed in Japan right now. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've got another niece that went to Japan for like three months because, well, you know, she thought, if I'm going to spend money for college, I'm going to go somewhere and get a real education. And so she went to Japan oh. and learned about the Japanese culture and fun stuff like that. And it's like, oh, that's just pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. But, you know, so, and her Seriously, her thoughts were, why do I want to spend all that money on uh, a college edumacraption when I can go to Japan and learn just as much about other cultures and get some real world knowledge as opposed to, you know, paying some damn school umpteen gazillion dollars yeah. so that I can come home and say, would you like fries with that? Hmm. Because that's pretty much all a a uh, college education does anymore. Cripes, I saw that. And I have no idea if it was for real or not. Mm. But good Lord, just thinking somebody would actually do something like that just flabbergasted me. You know, yes, I have 200 and some odd thousand dollars in college debt. And mm. that's why I'm voting for Bernie because he's going to make my debt go away. Uh, that's what he's going to do. How the hell do you get $200,000 in college debt to start with? Well, the government really worked hard to accomplish that. Let me tell you. You know, when they do work, it's usually figuring out ways to separate you from your fiat currency. And your yeah. property if you don't pay the bank. Yeah, pay hey, the bank. Yeah. Well, it's the nature of the gym, man. We we really appreciate it too. You guys are re really great, really are. Thank you so much. Well, you Jewy bastard. Hey, well, what's your well, cut on this? My, Do you get anything since you're a Jewy bastard? Well, see, I don't know because I'm married and, and I live in Denmark. But you know, should I ever not be married living in Denmark? I guess I could be a Jew. Why not? <laughs> Hey, I'll just show him my cock and go, see, I'm part of the group. Look at the nose. Check it out. My mother's maiden name here on the death certificate. There you go. Well, you know, uh, one thing I've never been lame about, I may make a lot of bad jokes about stuff, but I always keep proper copies of the necessary documents at my disposal, just in case I may need them. But although I have no belief in their shit, I play their game to gain when it's, you know, good for me. Just like they do, only I'm upfront about it. I don't promise you the moon and then go fuck you and your, you know, backside when you ain't looking. That's, you know, <laughs> that's political movement, you know, religious movement. That's how the education movement moves. But me, the dark table, nah. I'll tell you. I dropped the soap. Don't pick it up, stupid. <laughs> It's a Jew thing. I can't help it. You pick the soap up. You got to do it. It's the way it is. I dropped it on purpose. <laughs> and yeah, you know, and Jews are like fags. We don't care what sex you are. We just want our way. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, I've got my opinions about people and such. And that's one of them, you know. Well, I'm happy for you that you've got your own opinion. So yeah. what did it cost you? Oh, 60 years, I suppose. Wow. Yeah, to get where I'm at now, how I see the illusion around me. Because, basically, I figured out 
a few years back. I can paint the illusion any color I like. <laughs> My fucking illusion. What are you going to do to it? Go away, oh. I'm busy, oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Go away, oh. Yeah. Way, oh. Way, uh, way over there, oh. Somewhere like Mexico. <laughs> You know, I, I'm going to tell you, you know, you, you know how lazy and stupid Americans truly fucking are? I just, I'm just going to put this out there to my fellow human beings who have lost the ability to fucking think for themselves. And, and they're not on the radio or in the chat room. They're those homeless people living on the streets of America. If that was me and that was all there was, I would go south to where all the people left to come here. <laughs> they left yeah. a big gaping hole down in the south where it's warm and tropical and shit to crowd the fucking cities. Get the fuck out of the cities. Isn't but, that just nuts? No, you it's, know, it's That it's reminds me of, of a Sam Kennison joke where mm. he was talking about um, sending all this money over to these poor people <laughs> that yeah. live in <laughs> desert Af- areas. Africa, no, Africa. Yeah, he, well, was and Africa, and, he was specific. He was specific. Areas where they, they can't grow food. It was a joke, but he was specific. Or whatever, whatever. No, it's yeah. a joke. It wasn't a whatever. But, you know, yeah. he said, why are we sending all the food over there? Why not bring the people over here where the food is? <laughs> well, it makes that's, sense. that's part of what he said. He also went on about, you live in a fucking desert. Nothing will grow here, but he's doing this yelling. So it's got a lot yes. of drama to it. Live where the fucking food grows. And he says, well, I will send you a couple of U-Hauls, a couple of bucks for your inconvenience. <laughs> yeah, but you know, there's a lot of those places where the food did grow there. And they did have trees. Um, and... Not not even more than a hundred years ago, they did grow food there. They did have trees there, but you know the Western world came over and said, "We're going to help you out of your savage lifestyle," and but we need you to do this mining or do this and do that. And guess what? We'll pay you a dollar a day to mm, do it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so they wound up not having doodly squat because they spent all of their time. It's just like over in Afghanistan. They used to grow hellacious tomato crops, but poppy fields are much more profitable. But who are they profitable for? <laughs> well, and that's so, why I get mad about all, all this profit crap, right? It's imaginary yeah. fucking money. It's all debt. So where's your profit at? What are you talking about? There is See, that's no, what I mean about it. It's the greatest con yeah, ever. It's not profit. It's deprivation. You're depriving somebody else of having something by taking everything. And what? Yeah. And they call it capitalism. It's fucking stupid. And socialism isn't any better. So you call me a commie or whatever. But I think I do have an answer to all of our problems. But you know what? People don't like my answer. <sighs> it makes me a sad wow. little dork. Yeah, well, it's got an ism at the end of it. No, stay you've away. Heard, you've heard my three-step plan to unfuck the world many, many times, Miss Barron. You know what it is. Many people have heard it many times. They know what it is. But we also know that there's no way you're going to run a functioning system on the truth. The truth would not sell anything to anybody. No. Okay, now, here's another thing. A lot of times reason. the truth is a harsh and ugly truth, whereas lies can be ever so soft and pretty. Okay, but you talk about a monopoly. If, if the truth were available to us, we would only want products created out of certain products, certain sources of product. And I guarantee it wouldn't be oil. No. Right, and they but, need to leave the oil alone because okay. that's Mother Earth's <coughs> lifeblood. But I don't believe we're, we're informed on all these things. <laughs> uh oh, he must have taken a hit. <laughs> Oops. And then I had a a sympathy <coughs> to go along okay. with your. <laughs> 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 Did you take a hit and, a, and swallow at the same time? Is that what was going on? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I just never know how she rolls it until I hit them. <laughs> My wife is full of surprises. Yes, she is. And that's so, part of why you love her. Yeah, but sometimes they're stronger than other times. Wow, now ah. she's calling me names. Uh, I, just got, I just got on the A list. The A stands for asshole. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not good. Ooh. Well, I, I made fun of her split rolling abilities. You don't do that to survive. <laughs> just saying. Well... In the war of the sexes, you don't ever recover from your scars. Broken bones. Is that kind of <laughs> like you don't tug on Superman's cape either? No, Cirque is more like a woman. So, no. And she doesn't wear a cape. And, nah, I don't know. The boobs that always get in the way of a cape, anyhow. Um. What? Is she wearing the cape backwards? Wouldn't matter. I'd see the boobs. Oh, okay. Eh, it's just what I well, do. I'm I'm like a boobster. You, know? you are a boob detector. Yeah, That's another one. They're almost, except for my wife, most boobs are right at my eye level. <laughs> <laughs> I can walk up to most full-grown women and stare right into their boobs. That's how short I am. And I'm telling you, if that's something to be a problem, I sure don't know what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> I've been down here with the best view of life that there ever was. But, hey, what do I know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not up there high with all the terrible air, you know, secondhand smoke. I'm down here at the bottom creating all this secondhand smoke and bad air. Well, yeah, because smoke does go up. <laughs> it goes up, all right. Where does it go? Uh oh. You know it what? It goes up into the upper atmosphere, and yeah. it causes all of that whatever stuff that is up there that causes global warming. You dirty breather, you secondhand mm. smoker, you. Well, are you convinced that we're doomed? That we're what? We're doomed. No. How do you pluralize but, you know, I'm, I'm just talking about my little bit of reality too. Yeah. What, I don't, what's the I plural don't of understand. what's the plural of viruses? How do you spell that? V i r u s what? Apostrophe s. Uh, S-S? no, because no. that's the apostrophe makes it possessive. Okay, e s. Yeah. All right. Because we discussed viruses and shit. That's what we did. Me and you. That's right. Right here on the door well, table, baby. And see, that's I see I see all this shit, and especially with those little mm. face mask things that everybody's going to buy now. <laughs> it's like, do you guys not realize yeah. that a virus is so small? It's gonna, yeah. That, that mask is gonna mask stop. That mask is it. just a fashion statement. Yep, that's all it is. You're just showing people how gullible you is, and you're not even smart enough to look at the damn information about the product you're buying. To protect you from something that doesn't even exist as far as you know. You're just being told it does. And what a time. This is cold season, flu season, the end of February, wintertime. Weather's changing. Yeah. We're all... The Northern Hemisphere. Yeah. Well, where, where we are, too, anyway. So we're all a little stuff-headed and sneezy and coffee. Yeah. But what timing? You know, what, what better month to, to put this out in February? Hmm? 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 So does that mean that heat kills this fucking thing? Is that maybe the the part of the equation there of eliminating from anybody even thinking about talking about it? Well, what kills it? Not this virus crap or shots or vaccines crap, but there's got to be actually heat does kill viruses. Oh, there you go. That's why that's why the old saying "starve a cold, feed a fever." Yeah. That what they mean by feed a fever is. Blanket them up now. If if the fever gets too high, yes, you need to cool them down a bit. But so you what, know, when, what you're, when your body's running a fever, okay, it's yeah. fighting off an infection. So you're saying, fever. but Mary, you're saying that if this had been broken out in the summertime, wherever it originated, it wouldn't survive to to be passed on to other people. That's what I'm getting no. at. No, a real virus. No. Okay, a so what what is, is the temperature of the atmosphere that you live in, what does that got to be 
for this fucking thing to be pass or roundable. You know, there's got to be a minimal. Like, if it gets to a certain degree in the daytime, what's that degree where it's you can't pass it on because the temperature kills it? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, that's what I'm know. saying. Either do I. I we just talking about this stuff, you know, two boneheads on the dark table for crying out loud. Nobody yeah. here is expecting us to come up with an answer. I'm just saying, you know, that's the problem is where's the critical thinkers when all you have is panic, 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 panic. Oh, fucking worry. And that. Well, oh. panic is from the base mind. That is from the reptilian part of the mind where it is all fight or flight. And you see an awful lot of fighting mm. and running right now because people are going oh my god but they don't take into consideration all of the other things involved in the situation where this started in the first place Hmm. so well i don't know i'm doing my uh my commerce out in this you know the business world with nose to nose people oh the one of the one of the clerks i get i got the these like acquaintancehood ships with clerks at the grocery that the people that have mm-hmm. been there for a period of time <laughs> and one of them he's a gentleman probably about my age maybe a little bit younger or older i can't really tell but he's at, yeah he's right he's up there and his name is max and max is very danish but max does not really play around with the english a whole lot but the last couple months he's been trying a little bit and I got mm-hmm. this. I got this tea. What kind of tea was that? I got you, lady, la- or lady Gray. You know, Earl Gray, the, Earl ma- Gray. Uh-huh. the male Earl Gray, the female Lady Gray. And he saw, ah. la- yeah, he saw Lady Gray on the tea box, and he was just having a bust up about it because to him it meant something funny. Ah, Lady Gray tea instead of Earl Gray. He he didn't seem to put the English together to get, the, oh, that's the opposite of what an Earl is. Aha. Yeah, but I've got like, you know, when it happens to figure these things out so I don't take it wrong or you know, misunderstand somebody, make a big deal out of nothing. Because, you know, you got this old older gentleman laughing at you about your tea purchase. He could have been punking me for crying out loud. Yeah. But I don't, I don't think we're that close to where he would do that. So he was laughing at the box. But see, I could have took yeah. it personal and got all butt hurt. What are you laughing at me for, man? I'm just buying tea for my wife, man. It's lady gray tea because mm-hmm. she's a girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All I could think of saying is, when, in a whisper, I bought a box of it because they're out of the Earl Grey, so I got the lady gray. And she goes, oh, I like this much better than the other one. <laughs> okay, so the time I go back to get some more, yeah, I get pumped on the way out. Wait a minute. <laughs> and it, see, the coincidence of uh, how you take things when people say them to you in person is so much oh, yeah. different than the way we read the shit that we're reading in the world. And I'm not just talking about just the chat room. There's other ways to read things, and, you know, sources. Of information yeah. that we all use. Well, I don't know what they are, though. Uh, but I'll use that in the notes. Other sources. I guess that would be a SES, right? So, sources. No, this is wrong. Uh, no, it's S-O-U-R-C-E-S. C. S O U R C E S. Yeah. Well, I was confused, C with S. Uh, C and I confuse S and Z a lot of times. Really? How do you do that? <laughs> you know, like magnesium. I tried to spell it earlier today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. But, I don't know. I didn't write the language. But I do know one thing. Boy, did we get the short end of the stick on this fucking job. Yeah. English. Oh, I am Lone Frog says 150 degrees Fahrenheit. In, um, F- influenza is deactivated. Okay. Wow. That's pretty high. Yeah. It doesn't get that hot. But this corona... Good God. But see, that's an influenza. Is that a virus? I don't know all these medical things. Yes. Influenza is a virus. But is this corona fucking virus, is that an influenza virus? 
Or is it a different kind? I don't know. <laughs> Supposedly, because the coronavirus family also has SARS in it, and I don't, I don't remember all of the other viruses in the corona family of viruses. But you got so darn many different families of viruses, it's just freaking insane. And so when they say, well, we've got, you know, we've already got a virus or a vaccine to deal with that virus. Really? Oh, and we're going to start human trials soon. Really? I'm not going to be a test subject for that shit. Keep it to yourself. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then what will we talk about? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and that was another thing. I listened to Adele Bigtree yeah. Yeah. video earlier today, and he's, you know, talking about viruses and all that other fun stuff and vaccines. Mm. And he had played a clip of a video of when the um, – World Health Organization was having its meeting, and they were talking about how there hadn't been any testing done because they don't have time. They have to get the, the vaccine out. So there won't be any testing done or double-blind placebo testing. Well, there's no double-blind placebo testing done on vaccines anyway. But there won't be any testing done prior to the vaccine being released. But they will go by the uh, post-marketing numbers. And when he said post, or when actually it was someone with the World Health Organization, post-marketing numbers, that made me think, we'll check how people are doing with the product that we are selling, whether you want to buy it or not. This is another Obamacare bullshit scam is what it is. Ooh. You must buy this product for your own good. Wow. And we're going to rape you mm -hmm. in your wallet while you're doing it. And you may not survive. But one of the vaccines that they were discussing um, had like, what was it, in the 100 people that they had tested it on, 14 of them had a massive heart attack mm. from directly following the vaccine. Yeah. Well, they didn't really... You know, they need to figure out a way to market this better. Yeah. How the hell do you market it better that you, out of 100 people, 14 of them had a massive coronary? There is no good way to market that. There isn't? No. Mm -hmm. I mean, you especially if you don't know, you're going to be one of the 14 that gets to have the massive mm -hmm. coronary issue. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. All the, the fear-mongering in the world... At my age, it's kind of late to, for me to get afraid now. So, well, um, I just I think you know this. These are the people that are telling us you need to get the vaccine. You need to be inoculated. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. These so are, we're not going to test it. We're just going to do post marketing research on it afterwards. Well, By the way, well, we've got to figure out how to make this post marketing research uh, sound nah. better because fourteen out of a hundred of them died. Nah. Well, those are the same people that made cannabis and hemp illegal. So fuck them. Yeah. I don't trust them. I think anybody yet, that could turn a, a, a population against the best thing there is for us is probably planning something worse than what they're telling you. This is just to get you primed for the pump. You know, because I've oh, yeah. said for, for a joke for years that, you know, Palestine is just practice ground for what's coming to America. Oh, it, yeah. It's just different. They're doing the same fucking thing. Just, it doesn't look the same at the moment, but when you get past it and you look back, you go, wow, boy, those Jews are some sneaky fucking people. But the really sad thing is uh, it's not all of them. Yeah, well, whatever. It's the ones because sitting in positions they've of... They've also been programmed just fuck, like the rest of Fuck that, Mary. I'm talking about the politician ones. I don't give a well, shit about Schmoey Joey. We don't have any say in any of this government shit. We know that. And yet it's the schmoey Joey that does a lot of the enforcement of these rules and regulations or the bullying tactics, however you wish to put it. Yeah. Because, you know, and that's why they do the fear porn to they, start with. Yeah, they, they need a paycheck. They put propaganda first, and then they get people to enforce or control each other. Yeah. Because yeah, they're yeah, afraid. Yeah. And this virus is a perfect way to get everybody involved in this fucking game of control your neighbor and try to do what you can get away with. It's just asinine 
to be an adult and live amongst chimpanzees that prefer this over some form of freedom. They they don't see the chains that are you know just bound around their freaking head. It's almost aggravating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then again, you know, I've got the luxury of being married to somebody that plays in the game. Yeah. But whether I did or not, I don't I don't know if the, if I would have pursued doing radio at any level, even this little stuff on the internet, if it hadn't been for being with Cirque, changed everything from my, you know, my future when I got involved with her. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I don't think I'd do this if I was in America or Spain or wherever else. But I'm doing it here. See, and ain't it wonderful? The oh. wonderful little quirky surprises that you get, or even when you just the the twenty twenty hindsight mm. Acme light bulbs that you get. Mm. Oh, when speaking you, of, uh, Grim made a big thing about anybody wanting to do some more shows. Now, I feel I do enough shows, but here we go again. Rob Works wanted to do something with Larry Woods. I'm trying to get Rob to do it with Larry, and so I could not be involved in the show. I'm working on that, but you know, we're, I had to you know, the dark table coming up in like an hour, so I didn't really have a lot of time to discuss it with him. But I figure here I'll do it on the radio if he's listening. Just let him know, hey, I got you this far with it. I connected the two of them on wire. Let them do the show. Let, let me take Yay. the night off. You know? But I didn't get that far with talking to Rob yet. So I just figured I'd do it live. Ah. Well, I'm okay. not, what? I got no secrets. What the fuck? I, not can, yeah. I'm not trying to hurt anyone. I'm just telling you I would prefer this over that because I do enough radio when you think about it. But Grim was saying he wanted more shows. Well, here's an opportunity for Rob to step up and do a show with, with Larry on his own. <laughs> Give me the night off. <clears throat> there you Oops. go. Well, because I'm so yakky. Well, mm -hmm. you know, that's nothing wrong with that either. <laughs> it depends on what I'm talking about. <laughs> Come on. I can make uh, my wife's size roll just with a few sentences. One sentence, I can make her head spin. It's just amazing. It's my superpower. It's a, the power of suggestion that I've been given is superior to most people. I'm just wondering, is there a limit on superpowers that one individual can have? I, I would hope not, because I've got plans. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, I call it my cult. Your cult? Okay. Yeah, it's a cult. I even gave it a name. It's called That Fucking Cult. And the best part about the whole thing is the people that are members of my cult have no idea they're members of anything. Well, you know, there are perks to having people in a cult that don't know they're in a cult. Even when you tell them that they're in a cult, they just go, nah. Right. But see, the, the common link to belong to this cult, there, there's like three foundation things to it. One is you have to understand finance. What finance truly is, and know a little bit of history about it, that I'll bring you. And some people don't. Some people take it seriously as though it is real. Not like it's something that we're forced to use because there's no other option in society. Ah. Well, if you take 100 chickens to Walmart, you're not going to trade them for anything. They're going to just probably call the police on you. For bringing animals, Probably. animal control, slap you in jail for cruelty to animals or something. You know, the animals that you're going to eat eventually, or eat their eggs or whatever. But yeah, you're being cruel to animals. You go, wow, you people are some hypocrite motherfuckers, aren't now, aren't you? Yeah, you're being cruel to animals. By the way, we've got a special today on <laughs> chicken. <nuggets. laughs> yeah, well, no, real chicken. That. Not McDonald's chicken. Come I know. On. Well, that's yeah. Not chicken. That's like uh, no. That's mystery meat. Like, yeah. Whoa. Breading. Be Beetle says I'm in La La Land. That's okay. 
You can believe whatever you like. That's the beauty of this life. Is everybody thinks that other people have to think what they think or they can't get along. And I'm living proof with circle that it's all in the delivery, how you present your disagreements to other people that cause it to be a fight or just, wow, you're weird. Well, yeah, because I, I kind of like La La Land, although mm. I have renamed it Grammy Land because mm. it's, I wanted to personalize it, but <clears throat> it's my own reality. And if I don't want someone in my reality, I just close the window on them. <laughs> Usually on their fingertips so that they get the idea. Hmm. Back the frick off. Well, well yeah. what is this shipwreck called life? I don't know. Um, I prefer to look at it as like the minnow. Yeah. You know, well, I'm still looking for all the, all the, the uh, great big trunks that are full of Mrs. Howell's clothes. Uh, yeah. And Ginger's clothes. Uh, makeup. Where the hell did they come up with all the clothes? All, their clothes are always pressed and clean. I know. And Mary Ma- and hair is always, always perfect. Cute. Sure. I spent two days out in a freaking island somewhere. I looked like Hannibal Lecter's fucking dinner. Are you kidding? <laughs> I know. And hair going, going every ever damn direction. Like they got greasy hair or yeah. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. And nobody ever Although had. They to, do have coconuts. And, but nobody you know, ever you can had make shampoo. Nobody ever had to pee. I know. I I mean, it's not like they didn't have enough bushes to go around behind to do that, but nobody ever stepped in it. <laughs> oh, I'm but Star Trek. Nobody had to pee on Star Trek either. Oh, I know this. Yeah, but see, the stories, the stories distract you from something like following what the hell fractional reserve banking is, where it's used, and how it affects you. <laughs> and as long as we have this illusion of success around us, big cities, lots of people employed and shit being made and bought and sold, well, then we're going to believe what we're told like a little sheep. You know, I want to know, hmm? did they have money on Star Trek? I mean, sometimes you see them put those little, you know, like... Um, Pre- they gold. look like... Gold pl- they look like platinum. post-it note. The things. Ferengi they... gold press latinum. Oh. Yeah, that's right. The but Jews did... came through. I don't remember seeing them use any kind of money on on the Enterprise. Oh, well, they evolved and went into you know further exploration and finally tripped over the Ferengi Jews. Oh, yeah. okay. You're you're just you're talking way in the early days before they expanded to, you know, be more uh, diverse and inclusive. Make sure they didn't overlook a group of weirdos that wanted recognition. Because you know? that's all you need. You could start a fucking church. I'll tell you. You know that, right? I, I don't want to start a church. Look at all the benefits of start. That's why I want to call. Because all the benefits Although- of... Religious. Well, I had a friend oh, of mine that started a church. Yeah, good for him. It's the Church of the IDM and IDC. Hmm. The Church of It Don't Matter. Well, well <laughs> and I don't care. I'm looking at it from a financial perspective, Miss Mary. Think, think like a Jew for just a moment. Don't, don't do it for too long. You might not come back. <laughs> okay, and there is another family. <laughs> well, they're in the process of moving to Oregon, I think. Oh, but they've. That whole family, each one of them, had their home declared a church. Yeah, there you go. Because each Sunday they took turns mm. at the different homes holding the service yeah. so that they could declare their homes a church. Yeah. And so they were a church mm. and never paid taxes. And these these people had big-ass freaking farm. Oh. But they're moving to Oregon to get into Whatever's booming out there right now, I have no freaking clue. Oh. But yeah, I drive by that farm every day when I go into town. But do you want a clue? No, not really, because oh, okay. I I know her and yeah. and I don't like her at all because hmm. she's like one of those, huh? Pun intended. Now that I think about it, holier than thou and better than thou kind of people. Hmm. Well, yeah, all these commerce games that you can play with religion that benefit you, I find them in uh, a, a, an assault on my sense of taste, to quote Hannibal Lecter. 
You know, it's like, ah. well, I can see the profit side of it. It's very nice and Jewy, but wow, how do you do these things to make money and live with yourself? If you if you do really understand what you're doing with your investments and all this other shit, why would you do these things to other people to make money? And people think, whoa, you don't know what you're talking about. And then the, I understand about them is they don't know where their money's going. <laughs> well, and, and they don't know that it's all monopoly money. Well, right. Beside the fiat currency, we still got derivatives to look forward to. And, and that's yet another fantasy in the financial realm that you, you need special numbers to explain to people because it's so much money. It's so obvious to me that there's no way for this shit to ever fucking work. It's just not possible. But if you tell people it works, they don't question it. And then when you tell them, well, we're draining the swamp, while you're telling them you're bo the economy's booming out the other side of your fucking mouth. You see, the way they drain the swamp is they have a teaspoon and a sieve. Uh -huh. They're not making a whole hell of a lot of progress. Uh-huh. Well, and you got to get into the swamp in order to drain the swamp. You got to get mucky. You got to get ucky. That's nonsense. And I, I just nah. know it stinks. I don't want to get anywhere close to it. Really? Well, I don't really. have to worry about that. I'm kind of far away. Yeah. See, hmm. and I don't have a swamp out here. I'm in the high desert, so you know I don't have to worry about swamps. So, with all this coronavirus scare, are cops still pulling people over at the side of the road? I don't know. Oh. Hmm. Well, yeah, I I can't say that. Um, okay. Let's see. When did the coronavirus shit start? February. About okay. four weeks ago. Well, yeah, the month where everybody's kissing because it's Valentine's Day. In uh, any case. Very good. Um, Astute going observation. Going back and forth to see my mom, they are yeah. still pulling people over on the highway. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, there you go. I wouldn't know because I'm over here. And I haven't seen anybody over here that's all that worried about, you know, wearing a mask or any of that. I don't even know. If, I guess they've, they've been, Cirque's been paying attention to it on the internet. Cause it comes up on the news. They got a case in Germany. Ooh, I'm scared. Oh, well, now they got three like, cases in Denmark. I like the way Circles looks at it. Every time you say Corona, a cockroach goes to heaven. Oh. Uh, I don't, yeah, whoop the fucking do <sighs> coronavirus. Well, I'm just wondering, do they go to cockroach heaven or, the, yeah. or do they go to people heaven? Mm -hmm. Is there a difference? Well, for cockroaches, it could be heaven having lots of people around because yeah. people leave crumbs and they go, Kilimanjaro, look at the <sighs> feast we've got here. Yeah, I don't know. I, it just seems, seems to me that heaven would be a drag compared to the way that I see People that think they're good and belong in heaven after they're gone. Wow. Boy, are they full of their self. You know? Yeah. So, I, and I, I think heaven and hell are concepts of, you know, the mind. Okay, that's and me I and think, you. Right. I think we create right. our own heaven or hell. But we're dealing with people that believe it as a reality, Mary. Oh, as, I know. As and another for them, it's true. part of the... the Life experience. What? Are you fucking crazy? You can't tell me what happened on the 3rd of January 1972, but you're going to tell me that you know there's an afterlife and an eternity. <laughs> Fuck you. I think there's a right now. <laughs> the past, there ain't no such thing as that. There's no such thing as the future because life can stop it. Ain't <laughs> you know, boom, it's over, done. So, there you go. That's my, my personal take on that. <laughs> uh, Miss Kate says the first case was January 20th. There you go. Well, there's a three-week. That's not even three-week. That's 18 days. Uh, and she said the uh, change in accounting was yeah. February 13th. Yeah, what is the age people are getting ill from this? Cra Come on, think about it. 50-plus. Uh, uh, I'm 60, so... Uh, and besides, <laughs> all, you're in the danger zone. And I could give a flying fuck about it myself, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, it's been a wild ride. You know, it, it would just be irony to, to lose at the end of the game, to lose to a fucking cold. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> I 
I've beaten bigger things than the cult. I had four hernias, for fuck's sake. I don't beat down easy, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'd much rather have a, a a virus get me than be known for choking on a cracker or something well, stupid you, like that. And you have two daughters to prove that you can take a whipping. So, you know, between the two of us, we've proven ourselves in the uh, taking care of business world. You know what I mean? Because it's not about how much money you got. It's survival. And, oh, and you know what? I did you know. see something on Twitter earlier today. Apparently, mm. somebody had announced that there will be a coronavirus vaccine out there, <laughs> but it's only for those that <laughs> can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, this was like a real like news conference kind of thing, or it looked real enough to me, but hell, how do you know? I but I thought, yeah, that's why I call them the poison for profit system, because, yeah, yeah. we'll poison your ass and we're going to make a profit off of it, too, yeah. till you go into, you know, cardiac arrest or something. Mm. And we just happen to also own a funeral home. So we'll profit off on you even after you die. Yeah, they're exploding yeah. the numbers because, you know, only one percent more of people that pass from this are going to go, you know, then then the then the flu. So uh, it's not that big a thing. And besides, well, I'm and already 60, for fuck's sake. Come on. Well, and from everything that I'm reading and hearing, uh, Wuhan province, also, they, um, it was uh, the first place where they went citywide hmm. with 5G. Yeah, I read and that too, but it, is it real? It also had um, had been listed as one of the worst for air pollution for quite some time. So you got multiple factors figuring in on this shit. Any kind of virus, when you have a compromised immune system, is going to hit harder. That's just oh. basics. Hmm. And then if you have like a 5G extra kick added to it, good God. Because well, yeah, that's what I read. That that frequency inhibits your yeah. ability to yeah. intake oxygen. So yeah, but that see that's what I read. Also, is that particular part of China was upgraded to some higher than three G, whatever could have been four, but they wanted to they wanted to boost that. So and then all of a sudden, then they come up with this coronavirus like. Within a month of the time that I read the first thing, they went, hmm, maybe, maybe they did. I don't know. I, I live in backwardsville, man. These people's idea of high tech is having the, uh, you know, cell phone, the smartphone. It's good enough for them. Well, what? I think all of this stuff is just so much. I mean, I'm not saying that there aren't people getting sick. I'm not saying that there aren't people that. That aren't dying, right? And of course it's not. Sad to see it, but, but it's not the as shit that's in the news. The mortality, shit. yeah. The the mortality rate to this is huge, and these people are playing at the absolute minimum that's going to pass from it, and they're going to go because they're already fucking ill from something else, and this extra added fucking thing on top of it is just the thing that cracks them. I ain't in that group, so hey, I'd be around. And if I'm not, it was nice knowing you, fuckers. What do you want me to say? Please, Jesus, save me. <laughs> Come on. Baby Jesus, thank you, baby well, Jesus. Baby yeah. Jesus could do it even when he's still in diapers. Have you, ever, you, baby. have you ever listened to that guy? What's his name? Uh, something atheist. The thinking atheist, right? Yeah. I've been watching these links. You know how I am with names. But I've been watching these links from YouTube on this guy. And he calls the show The Thinking Atheist. And ah. I and I come out at the end of it thinking that he really didn't change anything more than the side that he's on. He's not really an atheist because he's a statist. So he's all for the state control and this, that, and the other in these areas and those areas. But he mocks a god. What? Now, okay, now I get that opinion because... I, I've let Clint Richardson from UCY 
I've spent a lot of time listening to the way he explains his side of all this shit. And I've found my own side of it that I can explain. But I can't explain it as good as Clint can. Is all. But this ah. thinking atheist guy on YouTube, he's uh, very good at his side of why God you know, doesn't exist. He comes up with, I can't argue the point. You know, his points are valid, but his uh, demonstration to me, it's so hmm, just opposite of the coin. You know, black and white, I see people, right, Mary? Yeah. Okay. So I'm looking at that, where if you're so against this, why are you for that? It's the same fucking thing. And I got that concept from listening to uh, Clint Richards explain uh, how he sees the God word, what it means. So, Well, I don't like the God word right, right. itself, just so, because there's so much ugly attached to it. But speaking English, we have that advantage of we speak this fucking magical language that you can make shit up, and it's true. <laughs> you made it up. It's your truth. It's what it truth is. I believe that. I well, just said you know, it. If you, I've, I think if you think a thought, hmm. you've already created it somewhere. Oh, yeah. Just, just by thinking the thought, you've uh, already created something. Uh, now, whether it actually comes into reality or not, yeah. Yeah. or uh, fruition, however you wish to put that, depends on if you act on that thought. Hmm. Well, that just merely thinking the thought, and there are no new thoughts under no, the sun. They're just plain aren't. Isn't that relative to how you see time? You know, like uh, I, I think there's a now, and then I get yeah. start telling me on the internet to meet her at six o'clock. So now I'm on the clock. But some kind of weird way, the way I look at all that crap, I don't take it as seriously as I should. You know. But I'll I'll do it for the things that benefit me, like usual. You know, if it benefits me to pay attention to these fucking numbers on a computer and go and be somewhere by this specific fucking time, well, then I'll do that. But I don't really understand is the point of it all. Well, six o'clock is a human construct. Right. But see, by showing up at six o'clock, you prove that it's necessary. <laughs> For that thing to exist, or you couldn't do this. Well, and it's, yeah. yeah I mean, okay. it, it was a thought that someone put out there, and then they acted on it, and the rest of the world accepted it as something that was valid. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, time, mm -hmm. the way it's measured by mm -hmm. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 6 o'clock, however you wish to, yeah. to measure it, yeah. it is a usable construct. Yes. The problem yeah. is yeah. people have become slaves to the construct. Oh, uh -huh. Really? You know, instead of realizing that, yeah, it's now, okay, and now it's now, and it's now, and now everybody's got, I've got to be somewhere by such and such time. I've got to be somewhere by such and such. So the construct has taken over mm -hmm. as opposed to them just, okay, now I'm going to go do this. Mm -hmm. And when I'm done, then I will go do this unless something comes up to where I cannot go and do that until I finish doing whatever. But you're always, you're always acting in the now. Hmm. So the, it, the, I, I the agree time, with that. Yeah. yeah. You know, the time and the clocks, that's hmm. all for coordinating realities. If and you it, want it to works. put it like that. It works. I use it. I use it myself. I'm just saying that what you're saying is it's, been you overused in areas on this, but we're so used to it, and we're so accepting of it because it benefits us. See? You overlook mm -hmm. the shitty shit it does. So, yeah. hmm. wow, but that's so what I mean about English. Maybe it's just being alive, being a, a carbon based life form trying to communicate with others. Is you end up with these fucking con men trying to sell you your own fucking shoes. And perhaps this is all part of this physical experience as we're supposed to grow beyond it. And not we as a collective, but we as individuals grow beyond the bullshit. Wow. You know, and, and as we grow beyond the bullshit, we just 
the next now is in a reality that doesn't have that bullshit. Or it may take lots of nows before you get to a reality that you don't have that bullshit to deal with. But it's still always now. You know, mm. even if you go back yeah. in time, yeah. you're still now. now. Yeah. Well, because I, I like to tease about that on the time travel movies. You know, you go into the past. Well, where are you in the present? What? <laughs> How how did you leave the present? Well, you just disappeared, vanished, boom. And then time goes by and you're back again. What? How long did it take you to go back to 1912 and then live that thing out and then come back to the present? It's a flawed. It doesn't make any sense. But I, my mind overlooks all the technicalities because I like the story. <laughs> It well, doesn't have to be true. It's like religion to me. How religion? Oh must yeah. Be. I I don't think religious people care if it's true or not. It's how they makes them feel that what this whole religion thing is about. Oh yeah. Yeah. It is. It is a personal thing, even though it's a collective. Yeah. Yeah. It's still a personal. Yeah. It would have to be, but that collective thing's got to feel better. You know, because when you're yeah. when you're knit with a group of people that are on that wavelength, the one thing that you got to remember too is they're more generous with each other, not tight fisted and greedy and trying to fuck each other. They're trying to share shit. Now, that's the good side of the religious, right? The bad side mm-hmm. is it attracts these freaking weirdos that find the weak spots. Like uh, I seen the TV program about it, a man that kidnapped a six year old girl or something from a church bathroom you know and uh just horrible what what came of that but see they leave you afraid to even let your kid go to the toilet alone right yeah all right but it's my belief that these people that do these horrible fucking things to each other they're taught to do that these are not normal behaviors that you just wake up one day and go hey i think i'm gonna fuck me a dead cat yeah, it is. A, well, behavior is learned. That Well, OK, maybe that wasn't the best example, but that's how insane just murder could, would strike me. Or, not self-defense. And I don't have to worry about any of that any damn way. But it, the only time I can see violence is and, and it's still some idiot attacking somebody else. And that doesn't always work out so good for the guy. You know, that's doing the attack, and I've seen the, the victim turn around and fuck him up a few times. Yeah. But we yeah. all we all suffer the same the same shit from government. Just some people welcome the bad because they think that police are doing good or the, the taxes are good, or some stupid shit like that. You know, the money is good. Yeah. Well, if we didn't have them, just imagine how crazy the world would be. Well, you know, before the police were actually militarized, the world wasn't nearly as crazy as it is now. So do you think maybe the militarization of police kind of egged this on? Ooh, hey, maybe all of those laws that they wrote created more criminals, Mm. so the police had something to do besides stand around looking like Barney Fife and Andy Griffith. (laughs) Plus all that drugs and shit. You know. Oh, I know. The uh, evil plant. Well, the evil plant. Yeah. Oh, foxglove's right. okay to grow, but don't you grow that herb that makes you feel good. Heaven mm-hmm. forbid. You can grow all the poisonous shit you like. You know that, right? Yeah. Legally. There's no laws against it. You can grow shit that if you made tea out of it and fed it to your neighbor, it would kill them. But you can grow that. Yeah. But hemp? Boy, the devil's lettuce. You grow the devil's lettuce, we'll put you in the cage, boy. I know. I know. But still. You can't have that shit. Okay. And now they're playing the legalization game. But the people that work in in law enforcement, do you really think these morons know what laws are? (laughs) What? No. Do you think they know what they're arresting? They just make shit up on the sperm of the moment just to be busy doing something. These idiots don't. They don't know anything. They wouldn't be cops. What kind of moron would want to be out there in the fucking world with a loaded gun looking around and, and finding somebody to fuck with? And being able to shoot people because you're afraid for your life. 
Me personally, I think, you know what? Uh. If you're that fearful for your life, you shouldn't have that job in the first place. Ooh. You ought to be in a padded cell somewhere. Wow. So I'm, you get a handle of it on kind it. kind of mean you. Is it serious? Well, you know, somebody uh. that's that freaking fearful, why are you fearful? You're going out and you're bullying people and you're afraid they're going to actually mouth off back at you. And so you kill them? Really? Seriously? Yeah. Good God. Isn't I mean, talk sad? about psychotic. But isn't that sad that people will use that as an excuse to be violent? They scared yeah. me by by yelling. So yeah. I assumed they had a shotgun. So I went to my gun, and I got my gun first. And they're running away in their car, but you shot them anyway. You know, so... What? It's it's no different than the Israeli army. No, well, the no. Palestinians were throwing rocks and yelling mm. at us, so mm. we started shooting mortars at them. Yeah, yeah. because they scared us really bad. Uh, wow, dude! It's this Arab Seriously? Jew. Yeah, see, it's this Arab Jew bullshit game that we play in society. It's you know? the us and them. Well, a fucking American wouldn't know an Arab from a Jew standing next to each other in the same goddamn clothes. It's stupid what 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 we True. accept because these fucking newspapers and TV shows and half-assed politicians tell you to do. It's insane, mm-hmm. and it, it and if you don't stop it, it's, you're going to be a victim of it someday. That's what I think. Yeah. Weird. I mean, if if indeed you see these things, and. Whether you blame Jews or Arabs or whatever the fuck your game is on the blame game, if you recognize there's a fight, why don't you investigate a little further and look for what the reasons of this fight are? And when you get to the part about usury, boom, you hit the fucking nail on the head. It's all about money. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with anything else. Nobody loves anybody. Nobody gives a fuck about the other guy. This is all about we want to use usury. And this is how we got to do to use it. And the Arabs are not for it. So who's asked do we kiss as a country? The Jews. Why? Because they're so fucking civilized. <clears throat> yeah. Well, yeah. and then and then what, what arguments do you have then? Oh, the Zionist bankers. Oh, bring the Jews into this. And it, well, no, no, no. Don't start with that shit because all Zionists aren't Jews and all Jews aren't Zionists. Blah, 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 blah. But then you go further in the argument. You go, well, all the Jews aren't even fucking Jews. They're just a group of people that figured out a way to use this knowledge to enslave everybody all at one time. And when you talk about it out loud, I'll tell you one thing. You've got opposition from people that don't want you to say it. They don't argue whether it's true or not. No, 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 no. What they're to say is you don't have a right to be insulting like that to these people. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just said they, they're so fucking brilliant, they run the whole fucking world, and we don't even know that they do it because we're so busy looking at all these other nonsense things. <laughs> Yeah. And oh, look over there. The proof look is Look at that, yeah. that guy over there. He's going to hurt you one day. You, you know how you know? Because I told you so. Because I know. I am the Swami Ami Ami Are you going to hurt me, Miss Mary? <laughs> um, <laughs> hurt me, hurt me. Huh? What's that song? Do you really want to hurt me? No. No. I don't know. Boy, no. Boy George? Mm-hmm. Is that Bill, Boy George, right? Yes, that is Boy okay, George. Yeah. Do you really want to make me cry? I mean, how could <laughs> well, I forget maybe. a target like that? Wow. Oh, I know. Damn. Although, he did dress really fun. I do have to admit that. No, he was, And I did like whole, a couple of his... But he did... He, he she, it, whatever. Hmm. He dressed pretty fun. Did you ever see Liberace? For fuck's sake. Come oh, on. good Lord. None of these new kids or people or whatever, I, in the in the long run, in the end, that fucker had hands. Did you? His fingers were like sausages. And he would just play that fucking piano like it was nothing. Without looking, just knew everything. And all oh, those yeah. fancy, girly fucking designer clothes. And, come on. And then everybody after him was just a rip off of what he did. 
It's not yeah. original, and he didn't do anything original. He just did it as a fact. He was just <laughs> very flamboyant. No, he was very gay, <laughs> but he was a fucking piano player. Crying out loud. Oh, hell yeah. Mm. But it's still, to this day, I mean, I'm not going to invite Sir to, hey, want to go sit and listen to Liberace? I'm not that kind of fan, but if it, if it would come up in a film or something on the I don't know how it would come up on television, but it would guess an old movie or something you might have made. Then I'd watch it, but I don't think I'd go, hey, you know what? It's Liberace time. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm not that it's, liberal. It's kind of like, hey, yeah. you want to sit down for an evening of Lawrence Welk? Now, I won that and a two. <laughs> yeah, but is, oh, Lord. is that hypocritical? Because like, I, would, I would not ever want to go to like one of those parades where guys go out there with you know, nut sacks and capes and shit. But I'll watch Liberace fully dressed act like a girl. You know? It, no, weird. that's not hypocritical because the one is... is huh. yeah, It's lifestyles. It's just t- the times that one person... See, Ms. Stark has... We have very similar uh, views on some shit. And then other shit, she's real liberal and I'm real conservative. And I blame that reality on... The time I grew up taught me this, and the time she grew up taught her that. And they're two different things. And they both exist. It's not like nobody's making anything up. See, and I don't, I don't give a shit, you know, So I will have this one little bit there. So long as it's among consenting adults, I really don't give a hmm. shit what people do in their bedroom. True. Or who they do it with. If, yeah. You know, as long as it's among consenting adults. Yeah. But when you start parading this shit out yeah. in public uh, and start telling me that yeah. I'm the bigot yeah. because I don't want to see you doing that shit mm-hmm. and I don't want to take my kids or my grandkids to see you doing that shit, you want to do it in your bedroom? Fine. Go for it. That's mm-hmm. that's your business. But once you take it out into the public square, it is no longer just your business. Mm-hmm. And this whole shit of telling people that they're a bigot or a homophobe or whatever. And yeah. I had this discussion with a niece. Oh. Okay. And I told yeah. her, do you realize that homophobe was a derogatory term thought up by someone of the homosexual persuasion mm-hmm. who was being dismissive towards people that didn't care for their lifestyle? Now, these people that didn't care for their lifestyle – they just simply said, I don't care for your lifestyle. I don't agree with it. Therefore, I'm not going to pay to see it. But they went, oh, you're a homophobe. Derogatory term. And then they accuse everyone else of slinging derogatory terms at them. Well, who started the derogatory shit? It's the chicken and the egg. I don't care. In your bedroom, that's your business. You bring it in public, it becomes a public discussion. Mm-hmm. And you don't get to have your way. I don't. So, you know, that's that's to me. I don't. Oh. I mean, if yeah, if they want to walk around in their G-strings in public, yeah. don't expect me to come see them. Well, right. See, that's kind of the problem that I have with freedom. You know, people take freedom in areas where it's not really freedom to force other people to, to let you do what you want to do. That's not the... Freedom. That, no, that's, that's, that's legal. tyranny. That, okay, but right. That, I'm leaning towards that's legal freedom. And legal freedom does not exist because you're not free. You're told you can do it this way, that way, the other way. Yeah. Freedom is to just do it and not piss anybody off doing it. So that narrows down your um, the people that you can be around while you're doing it. Because somewhere out there is a guy with a dead cat going, hmm, baby, you're hot. And who am I to deprive this guy of his, you know, moment? But somebody else thought they were, and they wrote a law that said you can't have sex with a dead cat. Live one, maybe. But <laughs> that's not going to end well. <laughs> and see, then you stop and you think, <laughs> okay. What the hell happened that caused them to think that we needed to have a law that said you can't have sex with a dead cat? Because it's so that, obvious that a live goes, one... Oh, good Lord. Because it's obvious a live cat, is you're not going to do that. No, the cat will, the cat will fight. <laughs> yes, it will. Okay? So, 
Harry down at the, the office thought, of, hey, you know what? Nobody's going to think of a cat. Let, hey, a dead cat. That'll work. And then another law. Ding, 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 ding. He gets paid for his law. Like I said, laws do nothing but create more criminals. Because mm. I'll bet you mm. nobody would have thought of doing that until someone come up with a law that said you can't. And then they went, oh, yeah? Hide and watch. Hold my beer. Watch this. Well, it's it's the idea of where would anybody come? How would it ever come up in a conversation to be investigated? I'm uh, from the dead cat department. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's such an obscure freaking thing in the first place. Let well, a lot of people do it to your know, relatives, like Ed Dean. Ha, 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 ha. Whatever. You know Whatever. what? I, you know what? I was informed of. I haven't read it, but I was informed that there's a book about people like uh, Ed Dean and his fellow kind, and that the stories were exaggerated in, in ways to sell it to the public in a certain light. Not that it. Oh, yeah. Not that it didn't happen, but that the details of it were kind of exaggerated to make it look worse than it truly was. Although it was horrid in the first place. Wow, it sounds like the news. Exactly. Okay. You know, like you tell, the, I tell you something, and then you tell Moose, and Moose tells Grim, and Grim tells Rob, and Rob tells Duh. And by the time it gets back to Cirque, it's something completely different than what I ever said in the first place. Yeah. It works. Try it sometime. Pass on a message. Oh. We did that in school. Mm -hmm. Played the game of telephone. Because we're creative uh, in our own life. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? I figured out where God's at. You want to know? Where is God? In the Last mirror. Last I looked, it was, yeah. In the mirror. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, I, I was shaving a couple of weeks ago. I shaved and I went, my God, you're just a handsome fucking fellow, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Went, oh, I see God. How I get it now. So what I mean yeah. is, whatever it is to you, that's your business. But to me, I just figure it's us and everything we're standing on. Even even all this man-made shit that's fucking us all up, that's us too. That's why it fucks us up. Because we're not supposed to do this, but because we're doing it, we're physically being punished for doing it instead of using help. There you go. Yeah. Well, you won't see any hemp products in the, the, in the what do you call them, the shots, vaccines. This vaccine was made out of 100% hemp. Damn near cure any fucking thing, baby. You're not going to see that because that's not what the, that's not the truth. In the first place, but I mean, you're never going to see that. No. But it would be nice if they would replace a few things with hemp and stop fucking around. We we could put this whole thing back together again so easily. It just sounds so big. It's not. Just people tell you they're going to do things to get in public office, and they get in public office, and they go, "Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll get to it. Give me five years." Yeah. yeah. What? What you got to understand is that first few years of me getting in here is just learning the ropes, you know, and making connections. And then if you elect me again, uh, then I'll get around to. Uh, yeah, that's the Trump's yeah. tune. He's playing that card good. You know, my favorite yeah, part about the Trump what, thing is. What's that? That he got elected. This is what the voters believe. That he was elected by the public. No, he wasn't elected by the public. The public wanted Hillary. The bankers wanted mm. Trump. The popular vote was in Hillary's favor, period. She didn't get the necessary electoral college vote. See, they juggled that shit so they could get their fucking way. Trust me. I know these things. I'm a dork. Well, hey. yeah, I know you're a dork, but I also know how many places had have voter fraud shit going on. Ah, eh, nonsense. Bullshit. It's the big I bullshit around. I don't believe any matter. of it. It don't matter at all. So what if oh, voter fraud, voter fucking re It's all nonsense. At the end of the fucking game, you've only got two choices any damn way. What are you winning? Get real. <laughs> I mean, Trump supported Hillary for a long time, and he's living in New York City. 
before he ever decided to be the POTUS, you know. But it it painted this picture for the public to, you know, people that really don't know much. They only know what they want to know. It's a beautiful life. But it's just like me. I don't know what I want to know. I could live the life of a pirate, but I have to be single. So I lose my wife to be a pirate? Wow. It's not a good trade off. Know what I mean? Yeah, I don't I don't think you'd make a real good dread pirate Robbins. Why not? Because you just nah. But the nah. world the world is like an oyster right now, okay? Everybody's playing they're playing the, the what do you call it? The nineteen twenties all over again. You know, the Dow just took a big shit, stocks are gonna fall, blah 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 blah. People are gonna buy this shit up like it was <laughs> pennies on the dollar like they did in the nineteen twenty. Ten years from now, <laughs> the game goes on and on and on. Unless there, the bubble finally, man, if this thing explodes, it's going to be terrible. Terrible. I just want to know what the bubble's filled with, so I know if I need to duck. Hmm. I would <laughs> say it's of the brown persuasion, Miss Mary. I'm going to duck. Really? Yeah. Quack, quack. <laughs> That's why I'm collecting my duck army. I saw that the people are releasing ducks and geese to deal with the locust. Was that you on ROM talking about that? Cause, uh, um, what? Probably I, not. I, I, uh, then it was CERT because I heard something about that too. Oh, I did say something about that. Somebody had posted something on the RLM about it, mm-hmm. and I said, and you guys all thought I was crazy for collecting my duck army. That was pretty much the extent of my conversation input. Yeah. But, yeah, everything in nature has something to deal with it. The problem is there are too many umans that seem to think that we can do better than nature. Really? Really? No. Nature's been here a hell of a lot longer, and it's been doing the experiments, mm-hmm. and the experiments that didn't work, well, they're not here anymore. Yeah. Well, you know something that's kind of interesting, Not speaking of not here anymore, is men used to just travel on ships before flying, right? Just boats across large masses of water. And if you ever think about it, how clever they were, to design something that could go from one continent to another and carry a bunch of people with it. That's a pretty good thinking shit. No? Yeah. But, of course, they were using products back in those days that are not available to buy in public today. And I don't know what the original boats, what kind of lumber they were made out of. I wonder what they made the sails out of hemp. If they would have made them out of hemp, they would have lasted for fucking hundred years. Salt water or not, would have been took a beating for a long, long fucking time. Because they had to make them out of something heavy. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I've never read about it. I might do a little pirate. See, I think I think I could be a pirate. Of course, I'm an old man now, so I can get away with saying stupid shit like that. Oh, Grimmy said he covered the Chinese ducks to Pakistan story last night. Oh. That's where I heard it. Okay, must have been on that door. Sorry, Grin. I was quitting the wrong barnacle on my hull. Oops. Yeah, I'm a better pirate than I thought. See, there you go. Now, I and you know, I... you were talking about taking things from one country to another. Yeah. That's one thing I would like to know. Hmm. Uh, apparently, there is no connection travel wise, and yet this new beer virus. Is showing up, you know, in places where there is no connection between where it started and how it got to. I just know, where noticed it's cropping up now. I just noticed it was not showing up where it's warm for some reason. I noticed that maybe it was just me, but I was well, expecting yeah, it's it. not showing up in the southern hemisphere because it's summertime down there right now. Hmm. Well, that's what I was asking about the you know the temperature. The outside temperature for this thing to survive in. Otherwise, if it's too warm, it won't live. And I saw 150 degrees Fahrenheit. No, that's a little too high. That's like the, you know, still melted the freaking Twin Towers to rubble story. No, you got no idea what you're talking about. So, I went that way. 
Well, I'm I, a I'm an opinionated little dork. Let me tell you. I see how you are. Yeah. You're you're one of them there trolley people, ain't you? Is that what they call? Why do they call me that? I'm just saying. Uh, I see it I this way. I don't know because. I talked to Cirque, uh. and she said, you don't have a bridge that you huddle under, so I don't know why they call you that. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, and you don't have a little billy goat, do you? Uh, no. No billy goat. Got a See? dog. How can, you, how can you be a troll then? You don't have a billy goat. You don't have a bridge. Well, okay, because you, they're talking. Did you sell the bridge to yeah, someone? They're talking about another kind of troll. You know it. Stop playing around. Mm-hmm. <sighs> You know what they mean. That's a, it's just troll like is what's in his the name eye on? of the beholder. Yeah, just like a freedom slave called me a gaslighter. You know, my reality is his his fantasy, and my fantasy is his reality. See, it's just yeah. can't. Well, we've been indoctrinated in the two opposite groups of thinking, and it's just sad that people are so caught up in the game like that. You know, that doesn't matter if it's Obama or Trump. Those two fuckers didn't do anything for you. That's your that's your wild imagination. You're you're just trying to you know, it's like a hmm, masturbation. You know, just like George said, at the end you'll have something to show for it. You know, you you'll be chasing this forever. You ain't going anywhere. But that's your life. You know, your illusion. So you're allowed that. You have rights and freedoms and all this other stupid shit that when you think it through, it's like, no, I don't. What difference does it make if I got any of the freedom of speech? What the fuck are you talking about? I can be as ignorant as I want to out in the real world. And, you know, that's up to me. I got freedom of speech. Just, I've got the intelligence to know, hey, there's a time to tell somebody to fuck off and there's a time not to. And on the internet webs, we have the ability of, doesn't fucking matter, just type on the screen, see? And a lot of us can't yeah. really separate that reality from, that. Ah, it's just type on the screen. Ah, I don't care. <laughs> Depends on who's right and what, I suppose. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if you're right or if you're left. I don't think it matters. I don't think any of the shit that we talk about in life, you know, about life and all this other crap, it's just our personal opinions on what we see, our looking out experience, whatever that may be. And if you don't agree with certain people about every fucking detail of the deal, then you're an idiot. And if my wife was like that, then in her life, I'd be an idiot. But my wife ain't like that. And I keep... You know, I keep my side of, I don't know if this fucking thing's a planet. I don't know if it's round. I don't know if it's flat. I don't know if it's shaped like an octopus's twat. Doesn't really fucking matter either. Don't know. I think it's a pancake. But it's a fun thing to make other people roll their eyes at you when you doubt their reality. Yeah. Because you can doubt my reality all the fuck you like it. Still my reality, and you didn't change it one bit, not not agreeing with it. It's still the same as it was when I said it. <laughs> but we live in this illusion of life where opinions are changed and guided and led. And you follow this, and you fuck you. How about if you don't follow none of it? What if it's all bullshit, and you treat it all equally? It's all bullshit. doesn't fucking matter. But... There's little paper games you got to play to survive in the game. There you go. How hard is it to figure out? And the level of reality that you allow this thing to take from you, that's a personal choice. Because look at all the bad stuff we got to think about. Lonnie and, and you know, just giving up on uh, after Fukushima's thing this next couple of weeks with the nuclear We've got viruses and vaccine damages and this damages, people living in the fucking street damages of major cities in the United States. It's it's the wheel of fear porn, and they spin it just about every day, if not every day, and whatever it stops on, that's where, okay, this is what we've got to distract the masses with today. Come on, lead the herd, lead well, the herd. I would assume that the people living homeless don't have cell phones and TV, or do they? 
what is going on in the homeless world? You know, what what is the the glue that makes people stay there and tolerate it rather than get up and go where there's something different, opportunity and less people. For example, you know, I I think it's one of those things where you get beat down and beat down and beat down so much mm-hmm. that you start believing the beat down. Mm-hmm. No, I, no. Can't even see. No. Nah. Because even my opinions, I don't beat them on anybody. You don't like them, you don't like them. That's your freedom. Enjoy your freedom. There you go. All I'm, all I'm trying to do is tell you that this way will work. And I know it works because I do it. It's not real difficult. And it's not all that, oh, honey, do these pants make my butt look fat bullshit lines. I'm talking about the meat of life. Understanding that you're being lied to by an entity that's a matter of perception is a big mm-hmm. step forward telling you. But if you're not capable of making that step, then you're probably afraid of being alone. <laughs> that's my assessment of the problem. I need a group of 30 million other Republicans to back up my mouth because without them, I'm just a man. Yep. Yep. And you know what? I don't mind thinking differently from other people. Doesn't bother me one darn bit. Well, that's disappointing. I'd rather more people thought the way you do than do. And surprisingly, well, I, there are a lot of people I know in Denmark here that do think like you do. That's why I know them. <laughs> See, and I just... It's not my business what other people think. Yeah, I will share my opinion, and I do get caught up in a verbal tête-à-tête from time to time. And then I get oh, called okay. out on it, and then I go, okay, wait a minute here, back off. Yeah. Didn't you just say, yeah, okay, pull your head out of your ass. It's their business what they think. Yeah. Move along. Yeah. And so I am I am getting better at at just moving along. Okay, mm-hmm. fine. That's your opinion. Fine. Yeah. You, you think what yeah. you want to think. Go right ahead. Yeah. Well. I'll come over here and think what I want to think. The best thing to do is to remember when it was you, I think. When you had your Doubting Thomas moments about what your reality was saying to you. Mm-hmm. And I decided that I'm going to tell reality what it's going to do. It's my fucking reality. Not yours. You're not going to tell me, oh, I have the right to this and the right to that. Oh, wait a minute. What about these other things like eating, drinking water, you know, breathing air? You're going to put a fucking restriction on that, too? Of course they will. Carbon tax. See, in the way I look at it, I was born on this planet. I have the right to live on this planet. And they're even trying to fuck that up, too. So, you know, because they're going to write laws. Put them wonderful little squiggles on a piece of paper and put a little stamp on it. Hey, hey Pancake says, thinking is so overrated. Right, but when when you're doing a radio podcast, you got to talk about shit. So, hmm. <laughs> if we didn't think and use words, we wouldn't do this. So, see, it's, it's, it's the ultimate catch-22. Yes, it is. You know, because we know what we know, me and Mary. And me and Mary agree on the core of all this crap. So we get along pretty well. Me and Vincent uh-huh. did not agree on the core of this crap. So the stress from his illness and me just clashed too much and I could I didn't enjoy it. See? Now yeah. me and you don't agree on every detail, but you don't you don't pound me into the dirt over my opinion. I don't think. No, okay. no. I think big picture wise, we we both see the pretty similar big picture. Yeah. yeah but our yeah. perspective or our individual, is, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Isn't that the goal? But and then being an anarchist minded thinker, which is what I call it, not not some group of fucking support out there. Fuck you. I'm not supporting this fucking beast. Period. That's me. Not my wife. Not Mary, not Vinny, whoever else you are out there. Some people can't not do it. It's their survival. And I understand that completely. I've just been fucking lucky enough to get the fuck out of it. You know, I I don't think I'm even going to do the the whole anarchist 
thing. Mm. I'm going to, I declare myself a meist. I think, and I get input from external, and I take it in, and some of it I throw it away pretty quickly, and some of it I let it hang out for a while, and some of it I decide to actually plant it somewhere and build things around it. But I'm a meist. Hmm. You know, hmm. whatever I think, that's that's what I think. And what, it's there you go. Just another negative for society to dwell on that truly does not exist. Because they say shit like anarchist groups. Now, yeah. if you're an anarchist, the last thing you ever fucking want to do, ask Grim. I ain't joining your fucking group. What are you nuts? Yeah. Well, anarchists are not group thinkers. Okay, then how can me and Grim both claim? To be anarchist thinking individuals, my wife too, circle, she's anarchist minded, but because of survival necessities, she has this job thing and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, but that doesn't negate her anarchy, her right. anarchy because the true meaning of anarchy <laughs> is self rulership. But using the tools before you is not the same as being a total slave, in my opinion. Yeah. 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 You know, if you really know what you're doing and what it truly is, and you just go, yeah, but I don't want to talk about that. That's being understood. Doesn't mean well, it doesn't it's, exist. it becomes a choice as opposed yeah. to... Yeah. Yeah. Survival, yeah. because, hey, America scares the shit out of her. So for us to survive, you know, me to do the provision, we'd have to go to America, where I know how to do things. Oh, you know how to do things over there as well, but uh, it wouldn't work Danish, the same over I, there, is it? How would I know when I'm being ripped off? I don't speak Danish. That's why you keep cycles close. No, <laughs> no, see, not, that's, no, 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 that's not how I operate. Though. I do my own I know, thing, my own I know. thing. So I would never expect that kind of thing out of her so what i would expect would be the hell of going to america and she doesn't like it neither do i anyway so because i was already away from the states way before i met her with no plan of returning so yeah. my separation from church and state was a, it was started out as a fluke and it became a reality by circumstance you know if I hadn't been such a nice son to my mom, I would have just gone back to the States when my uh, visit was over. <laughs> Left her yeah. the croak. You know, well, that's what it would have been. All right, fuck you. Take yeah. care of yourself, you old bat. <laughs> I couldn't do that, so I stayed. <laughs> well. Yeah. Anyway, so, but yeah, at the time, I didn't tell anybody none of that. When it was happening, it was very private. But when it was over, yeah. it was like, ah, now I'm done with it. And it's a done thing. So it's a good memory to have. Not a bad one. I got to take oh. care of my mommy. Oh, guess we're done, huh? Yeah. Let's go yeah. home. Anarchist scum and other animals in politics. It's that show was entitled, What is a Shamdemic? We didn't really figure it out. <laughs> but we discussed viruses. We do know and there's shit. an awful lot of shamdemic out there, so be careful where you stab. Other sources of information. The timing of the virus was amazing. Uh, Flash is planning a show with Rob Works and Larry Woods this week, but I'm going to try to get Rob Works and Larry Woods to do the show. And survival of the fittest, the thinking atheists on YouTube. People have become slaves to the construct, that's a Graham C. quote, and are you afraid of your life, or are you being derogatory, <laughs> and followed up with anarchist scum and other animals in politics. And that ends the dark table, you lucky bastard stuff. Yeah, yeah, and just remember, parents can't fix things for their kids. Shit, even Adam and Eve had trouble with theirs. So remember that, it's a... It's a universal thing. Oh, yeah. Which kids learn to fix their own problems. This is the last day of February. So if you've got donations to make to Grimmier, this is the day to do it, babe. Dig deep and send him your bucks. There you go. There you go. Happy Sadie Hawkins Day. And there's a schedule on the Real Liberty Media main page. And uh, there's also a wire hookup. 
So if you're uh, one of those people that does that, guess what? You can hook up on RLM. That's reallibertymedia.com. That's it you for me. Good. You're welcome. Hey, you got anything really good or uh, important for these uh, wonderful folks? Uh, nope, I think I'm done. I oh, think I'm done. Are you, stick a fork in Mary, she's done. <laughs> Bye. Oh, hey, here's right. one, here's oh, one. Wait. You can't increase the truth by stretching it. <laughs> That's a proverb my mother sent me. Good night, everybody. Go. Night, everyone.